Normally you say that shipping is responsible for 3% of the global emissions. And if you need to change the whole world fleet, just by building new vessels that, that can be carbon neutral, it will take too long. Uh, and therefore I think retrofitting is a super important measure to have in order to decarbonize the world fleet. Retrofitted vessels generate 35 times less CO2 compared to a new built vessel. Right now we are converting Maersk uh, Halifax to, uh, to uh, methanol. Of course this is a big project. The vessel was cut in two. They inserted an additional section both for handling the tanks and also having more containers on afterwards. And we upgrading the engines uh, running on not just a single fuel but on a dual fuel. And this is very, very important, not only to us in Man Energy Solutions, but also to our future generations. Dual fuel is the new standard in the market today. Conversion is the most cost-effective way to have a dual fuel fleet today. And you can decarbonize most for the dollar spent by choosing retrofit. Any MAN MEC electronic engine can be retrofitted to dual fuel. We can convert these engines to methane, methanol, ethane, or LPG. In the near future, we also intend to offer ammonia as a fuel option. Potential-wise, this represents more than 6,000 merchant vessels in the world fleet today. We have now ordered 25 methanol vessels. And I think there's more than 150 methanol container vessels in order in the world, meaning that our competition and partners in the industry has actually been following quite fast here and already placing 125 orders after all. So I think the industry is ready. We are aware that a lot of people are watching and as this is the first mover of doing a methanol retrofit, it's very important that this becomes a success.